Okay, here we go. I was talking to a friend, Ellie, new friend by the way, who actually has a really cool website and product with her, her man, The Dims. They're really awesome. So it's called The Girlfriend Collective. I think it's just girlfriend.com. Nice. Nice dins. Super cute leggings. Actually, they're giving away their leggings for their launch. So if you want to get some free leggings, you should get their leggings because I have some. I'm not wearing them right now, but they're really awesome. They're super good. They're just like really awesome people who work behind it. I met them up. I told them about how I'm getting into cats because I've been cat sitting so many cats. She just recently got some cats and the ones that I want, they're called Exotic Short Hairs. Let me show you. Here's an, a website. And all of these websites are ridiculous too. There's this photographer named Shannon and I see his photography all the time, everywhere. You'll just see this little, his little script here. I personally think his photography for cats is amazing. Really, he just knows how to capture the essence of that stare. It's just like, oh, what are you thinking? Got it. So I asked her, I was like, hey, so where did you, where did you find out about your cats? Where'd you get your cats? And so she was like, oh, I went to this site, Artistique Cattery of Exotics. <laughs> So good. This is where she got her awesome kitty. These are her kitties that she got. So cute. Look at that guy. Oh my gosh. Uh, like, and I was like, uh, looking at, I started looking at all these different cat sites, and then I was looking at all these, oh my god, all these little cat pictures, and then I got to a Shanann photo, and I was like telling her, you have to get your cats photographed by Shanann. Shanann, I'm sure it's Shanann. She says, I think. Her retouching services is really where it's at. And look at this page. This is like legit though. <laughs> it's so funny because he's like, with digital photography has come the power to make changes to photos that can often rescue an image from being a loser and make it a winner. Loser, winner, loser, winner, loser, winner. Changing the angle of a head or transplanting one from another pose adding a tip of a tail when it was cut off in the photo, opening eyes when an animal blinks, or is holding an eye at half mast. Also, half loser. I have done all these things in the past two years. There's all these examples of like what photo retouching he does, and they're good photo retouching, it's just, and so then she says, I want all my photos to be winners. So true. So then we just go on. This is actually where I've gotten a lot of photoshopping chops, believe it or not. And so we are going to be doing a I'm learning Photoshop. Um, and my example is going to be how I will respond to Ellie. I'm about to Photoshop. Okay, so we're going in here. Get a little kitty action. I'm gonna take this, bring it into Photoshop. Open that up. Now, what am I going to do with this? I'm just gonna play with a few things. This is Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud 2015. So I could go in here and maybe give that eye color something nice. I should do a Terminator eye. A little Terminator eye in there. Ooh, a little, oh, it's already made. This is nice, good stuff. Kind of like that. Hey, okay, drag that there. So all you have to do is now that's a layer. This is Photoshop, you got your different layers here. You can move this behind it and then you can't see it anymore. Then you just press Apple T, Alt Shift, because if you do Alt Shift, then it will resize as one size. And then I'm going to do this. Oh, actually, I wanna preserve the image. So the way you do that is you right click on the layer and then make that a smart object. Now it's a smart object, so we're gonna preserve the quality. So if I like go like this, and then I decide to go like this, it won't be pixelated. That is the reason why I use smart objects. And then I'm gonna put that in there. So now I've got that image. That's kind of funny, but I think I can do a little bit better than that. The next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to copy this. So the fastest way to copy it is just to drag it to this layer. All right, so remember this circle I made? I'm gonna make another circle. This little stroke here, you're gonna remove that. Then I'm just gonna take that cancel. I'm gonna take that circle, 
and I just go do this. So now I have a cool little circle here. I am going to go through some of these filters and see what it does. And the fastest way to go through these blending filters is just pressing Alt, Shift, Plus, or Minus. So then you can just like quickly go as opposed to what people usually do where they like click like this. That takes way too much time. So then you can just go through and be like, oh, that's cool. That made it that blue color. So now I'm gonna do that. Just had an idea, I'm gonna make an animated GIF. Now I'm gonna go window, timeline, and I'm gonna make a GIF here. So we're gonna create a frame animation. And then the way you do that is you have to add each new layer. So I'm gonna add another frame. And then I'm going to turn off the layer that I want, see how it's red. It's only zero seconds. So you can play it too. You can do it forever and then just play it. Look at that, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna add, I'm gonna probably put this one here and then maybe make it a minute, like one second. I'm gonna copy that, put another one over here, put another one over here. And then I'm gonna make those like flicker, like crazy, no delay. So then it's just like, oh, she thinks it's red and then it's like, I'm gonna put that one over here. Then I think you can just copy and paste it. Hell yeah, see, that's how I learn things is I'm just like, why is this taking so fucking long? And then do you just like play around with what you think could happen because there's a human being that's also designing this and they might think the same way you do and uh, there you go. If not, just keep trying. <laughs> Okay, so play, boo, 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 boo. Mm, I'm gonna make this one long, maybe one second. Maybe this one's gonna be two seconds. So play, okay, and then I'm just gonna make this go more nuts, like that. Cool, and then what I also wanna do is make this blue probably like a orange or a pink or yellow, something crazy, or <laughs> not that crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it like purple, like that. Okay, how about that? Interesting. Okay, so whenever you make a timeline layer, it takes the layer property as well. Hmm, I should have made that into a smart object. There you go, now it changes it. This is what happens here. And then that goes on. And then this, 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 all on. Okay, all right, now you're gonna save that. So file, export, save for web, GIF 128 dithered. Might as well make it as big as I can. Okay. So save, then I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. I'm gonna do shine on level up is the gif that I'm gonna call it. And then I'm going to drag this into here. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> and that's spending about like 20 minutes doing a joke. But that's like a really, really good way to learn Photoshop. I did that a lot when, we, when I used to work in an advertising agency. And then even at um, Activision, we would just waste a lot of time doing this. Learning! <laughs> I'm learning. Uh...